welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole, and today I will be showing you my most recent Shein, Shein, S-H-E-I-N, you know what I'm talking about, um, haul. I placed this order on May 11th, and it arrived on June 2nd, just to give you an idea. Um, some of these companies take forever to actually get your package. So, about three weeks to get, over three weeks actually, to get the stuff in after I placed an order and I have pajamas, some springy clothes and some bathing suits and a cover up, actually two cover ups. Let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna show you is probably one, if not my favorite thing that I got. It's this cute little pajama set. It's called the Plus Slogan Graphic Tee and Wine Cup Shorts PJ Set. I got it in a 4X and I think it's so cute. The t-shirt is just a little bit of a crop white t-shirt and then the shorts have a little bit of extra material around the like crotch belly area but I just rolled them a couple times and it's actually a super, super comfortable set. The next thing I have to show you is this all over floral tie front top. I just wanna show you, look how pretty that design is. It is so cute. I got this one in a 3X and it's only $9 even without a discount code. It's so light that it's perfect for the warmer months like i really need a concert to go to with this top but it's so cute and then you can just tie it up a little bit higher and then have some more of your belly showing or you can just pull it down and have maybe a little bit of the bralette like mine here is showing and then it covers a little bit more of your stomach but i just think that this is so cute the next thing I have is this red, it's got the ditzy floral top. Um, this is what the pattern looks like. It's kind of just, you know, dots-ish. And then this, the sleeves are the like stretchy um, material as is over your shoulder. This one is also in a 3X and it's only $14 without a discount code. It's kind of perfect that the shoulders have the stretchy material as well because I think it'll fit a lot more people. You can pull it up a little bit higher. You can pull it down a little bit more. And then I really like how it is kind of flowy in your stomach area, but it still cinches in at your waist. And I just feel like this is a pretty flattering top, perfect for spring. The next top I got is this black. It says the plus contrast something lace cami top. After the discount, it was $8.12, so this was very cheap. Um, the back is so pretty though. This one I also got in a 3X and it is kind of fitted or like my, it hits my waist slash butt area, but I'm pretty sure that's just because my butt is so big, but it's still a super cute tank top. I just adore the back. And you can always do a little front tuck or a full tuck. And then it being a little bit more fitted on the bottom for me doesn't really become an issue anymore. The next top I have for you is an eyelet embroidery drawstring peplum blouse. This one is also in a 3X and it was only $14 originally or $12. 60 with the discount I found I didn't really like obviously how it kind of flips up a little bit which would be annoying to deal with sorry you can see my underwear here that's so awkward um but you can pull the drawstring in the front to make it a little bit more cinched around the boob area or you can let it out I didn't really like the way the shoulders on this one looked on me so just for that reason it's kind of not really my favorite and then this one is just a fun, I don't know why I got it or where I would ever wear it, but it's a plus letter graphic bodysuit. I got it in a 4X. But yeah, it obviously just says made in the 90s. It's a t-shirt bodysuit instead of a tank top bodysuit. So I did kind of like that. And the fit was 
perfect. It was very comfortable. The sleeves weren't tight or anything, even on my big arms. And there are three clasps in the crotch and there was plenty of fabric for me. The next thing I have is probably the main thing that didn't really fit, but dresses like this kind of don't really fit me in general. So maybe it's just my body and I should give up. But it is this yellow, orangey-ish, um, plus rolled cuff hidden pocket tee dress. And I got this one in a 3X. Maybe I'm thinking I should have gotten it in a 4X because it's definitely a little bit too tight in my stomach and belly area. But my problem with these dresses is if I feel like there's enough material in my stomach, I feel like it's too big and like my arms and back and butt area. But this fabric is definitely a little bit sheer. As you can see, I did have some spanks on underneath it and you can see all of the lines and I feel like you can even see that it's black. Um, it did have two pockets though, so that's amazing. And if it fit, I would love it. The first bathing suit I got, so full disclosure, I also have a tattoo on my, well, I, yeah. So my tattoo on my shoulder, my grandma doesn't know about. So I literally wanted to get a bathing suit that is like a t-shirt top to cover. <laughs> so that's what the first two bathing suits kind of are. This first one is just a black, top with the, um, the little tie in front. I think it's so cute. And then with the sunflower bottoms, I just thought this was adorable. So the cover up is the plus hollow out fishnet cover up and I got it in a 4X. I just think it's super cute and fun. And then all of the bathing suits I got in a 4X because I'm usually bigger on the bottom and need a 4X, even though I think a 3X top could fit for me. But I loved this bathing suit. I love how much material it has on the bottom so you can kind of blend in your belly line by using those like ruffles. And the top is just so cute. It does have cups in it, even though it doesn't provide the most support. The next bathing suit I got is this kind of black and white tie dye. Um, this one's also a two-piece, and it's a short sleeve top as well. This one is called the Plus Tie-Dye Twist Front Bikini Swimsuit. This one's very nice quality. I feel like it is pretty thick, and I'm actually fairly confident that when wet, it wouldn't really be see-through. But I do kind of hate how the tie-dye in the front crotch area just kind of makes it look like you have camel toe or a weird shadow. And then the back, I or the top, I wish was a little bit longer so it could cover up my little back pudge roll um, <laughs> you saw me playing with there. And I do wish these bottoms had a little bit more coverage like the first ones did and came up a little bit higher. So when I showed these in the videos, I did use other cover-ups just to kind of show with them. But this hot pink one, the skirt, the tie wrap, I got from Shein a little while ago. So I'll link that down below if I can still find it online. It's so cute. I feel bougie AF when I'm wearing that on the beach. I just think it's so cute. And then I wore it in that video with this hot pink, like frilly two piece. This one is the plus frill trim high-waisted bikini swimsuit. I thought the color was to die for, especially if I had a tan, which I obviously don't have one here. I think the top was a little bit too big. It does have cups that you can remove. All of these cups are removable also, I would like to add. Um, and it does have straps you can adjust, but I think it's just too much material. It does nothing for my boobs. And these bottoms just don't really have enough coverage for me. And then the last bathing suit is this plus tie-dye bandeau tie-side bikini swimsuit. So obviously the bandeau top doesn't really do too much for my boobs, but it does have removable cups. However, I would never wear this to like the ocean or even a pool. I feel like it would come right off, but maybe it's fine for tanning, but these bottoms are amazing. This is the perfect amount of coverage for me. I feel like it covers my butt and it comes up high 
and you can cinch in the sides if you want to show a little bit more leg. And then the last few things I got are just these graphic t-shirts. I don't really know why besides the fact that I'm just wearing t-shirts inside a lot of the days now since I'm working from home. So the first one I got is just the Shroot Farm bed and breakfast t-shirt, you know, the office. But yeah, I got this one in a 4X. It wasn't too oversized. It actually was pretty fitted, but it's pretty soft. And I just love it for wearing around the house. And then I also got this plus tie-dye print tee in a 4X. It was $9 as well. So yeah, this one definitely was a little bit smaller and came up a lot higher than the first one, but it is so soft. It's seriously the softest material. It feels like workout clothes and I'm literally going to be loving in this t-shirt. And then the last t-shirt I got is this plus slogan graphic crew neck tee. It's in a 4X. It was $9.92 after the discount. Um, it just says the world has bigger problems than boys who kiss boys and girls who kiss girls because it does. Yeah, this one's also a fitted tee. Um, I tied this one up and I just think it's super cute and it's pretty soft, pretty decent quality actually. And I did actually get this bracelet set. It's called Five Piece Minimalist, Minimal, Minimal, Minimal. Having a stroke, sorry. Um, bracelet set, it was $2 after the discount, $209 after the, whatever the discount was I found. So it was these two and they fit my big old fat wrist. Sometimes I'm like scared about it. Um, but it's like this one, which is really cute. And then this one, and I did kind of push them up because I just like the way that looks. And then it had this one, which has two, balls on the other side but i broke it this one's actually like too big like it's like a weird shape even if i push it up i don't know i broke one of the balls off stretching it off so actually i was trying to tighten it but it broke but again two dollars for all five of these bracelets and then the other two are just this like little gold chain with balls and then this little bracelet kind of reminds me of like a baby bracelet that you would put like the baby's birthday on. Um, but they both fit. Sometimes I have a hard time with jewelry. And these big, you know. And again, only $2. So can't go wrong. And then probably the best purchase of this entire haul. And if you left, if, clearly you're still here. So get this. If you don't get anything else. It is the Bow Knot Decor Straw Hat. It was $4.52 after the discount. Even if you don't find a discount somewhere, it was $5. And like, look how cute. I mean, I should have done this entire haul with this. <laughs> like, now I just need somewhere to go. Hmm. But anyway. Hopefully you enjoyed this haul. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe. I will be posting some more videos. I already have packages on the way because I'm addicted to online shopping. But hope you guys have a great day. Stay safe.